Mario Kart. Mario Kart 64, the second game in the Mario Kart series, a game that helped the Mario Kart series as a whole gain popularity, a game that was and still is enjoyed by many. Today I'm going to be ranking all the courses in that game from worst to best, and quick disclaimer, this video is just my opinion, let's get started. In last place is Frappe Snowland, and I think this is a pretty universally hated course. I feel like the main reason for this is the fact there are tons of snowmen that will blow you up and shoot you into the air if you hit them. Dodging things in Mario Kart 64 is harder than dodging things in other Mario Kart games, and mixing that with the slippery ground of this track doesn't lead to a good outcome. Every time I play this course, I hit a bunch of snowmen because I always slip into them, and it gets very annoying. They are literally so close to each other. Besides this snowman problem, the rest of the track is fine, but not spectacular. At one point, you go through a valley and over a bridge, and since there are no snowmen here, this section is fine. Overall, this track is my least favorite because of all the annoying snowmen. In second to last place is Sherbert Land, and it may seem like a weird coincidence the two winter-themed courses are the two worst, but the reason they're both the worst is because winter-themed tracks always have slippery tracks. This track is basically made out of just ice, which makes the whole thing extremely slippery. There are two sections to this track, the outdoor section and the cave section. The outdoor section is where you have to dodge a few penguins that literally slide right in front of you, and because of how slippery it is, dodging them can be really difficult. Later in the track, you have to drive around a giant rock before going into the cave, which is guarded by two more sliding penguins. The actual cave itself is very small, and there are a ton of sharp turns you have to make if you want to go through here quickly. This wouldn't be too difficult if there weren't giant pillars in the middle of the cave. They seem to be right in front of you after making a turn, and each of them have two penguins circling around them, meaning if you try to go around them, there is a chance a penguin will show up at the worst time. Having this in addition to a slippery track makes playing this course really annoying and not fun. In 14th place is Luigi Raceway because its course is very simple. It's the first course in the game, so it's kind of expected. The layout of the actual track is very basic, as it's pretty much just an 8 figure circuit where instead of having a bridge that goes over part of the track, it's an oval pinched in the middle to make it resemble an 8. The track consists of two main turns, so most of the time you're just turning left like it's NASCAR. However, this course isn't as boring as a NASCAR track because driving over the number 8 is still more enjoyable than driving over a giant oval. There is also a cool section to this track where you have to drive under a bridge, and this was really a first for the Mario Kart series. The only Mario Kart game before Mario Kart 64 was Super Mario Kart on the SNES, and in that game everything was pretty much flat, and there weren't any hills to drive over. In Mario Kart 64, everything turned into much better 3D, and Luigi Raceway was the first track in this game. This section where you drive down a hill to go under the tunnel marks the first time in Mario Kart history where you drive up or down. This course also has a TV that shows your camera view and that's a pretty cool feature. Plus there's a hot air balloon carrying an item box that will always give you a blue shell but it's really hard to actually get. Overall Luigi Raceway is good but not amazing. In 13th place we have Rainbow Road and I'm sad to put it so low because most Rainbow Roads are amazing. My main problem with this one is how long it is. In 50cc it takes over 2 minutes to complete a lap, which means that the whole race is over 6 minutes long. Most of this track is just twists and turns with not much interesting happening except for some chain chumps that show up. While the track is too long, it is one of the best visually designed ones. There are many lights in the sky that display pictures of Mario characters and items which is cool. For some reason there are guards on the sides of the track and it makes no sense because this track isn't hard to keep on. There would have been no challenge with these gone. Overall, this track is too long and that's a major issue, but I do really like the visual aspect of this course as well as the music. In 12th place is Wario Stadium, and this one has the same problem as Rainbow Road. This track looks like it takes place in a dirt bike arena, and there are lots of bumps and turns to go over, and that's what makes this course a lot of fun. The only problem is how long it is. It takes forever just to complete a lap, let alone a race. My first time playing this course, I was thinking that the finish line would be right around the corner every time I made a turn, but it never came until I was like a minute and 40 seconds in. This is an insanely long time for a single lap in Mario Kart. While the track may be long, driving through all the many bumps and turns is pretty fun. In 11th place is Mario Raceway. This course has you racing around a hill before driving around a giant mushroom and eventually through a giant tube. While this track is nicely detailed, it doesn't stand out much at all. It is still better than the previous courses I've covered on this list, and it does have a lot of good things in it, such as the unique layout with lots of turns and the piranha plant theme this course has. My favorite part is the giant tube that I mentioned earlier. Unfortunately, you can't trick off it like you can in the Mario Kart Wii version of this track, so it serves as just the decoration, but it's still cool nonetheless. In 10th place is Koopa Troopa Beach, and this course takes place on a nice tropical island that you race around. On this island, there's a giant stone in the middle, and there are lots of palm trees to see and ramps to drive over. You also have to dodge some crabs as you're racing. This course has two special ramps that require mushrooms to use effectively. 
The first shoots you into a tunnel where a significant portion of the track can be skipped by going through. The second ramp shoots you over a giant rock where you can get a special item box that always has blue shell in it. The first ramp is extremely useful because it will get you significantly ahead. Getting lucky and having a mushroom at this ramp could mean the difference between getting first and losing this race. Overall, this track is pretty dope and nicely themed. In ninth place is Moo Moo Farm, which is the track that would later inspire Moo Moo Meadows from Mario Kart Wii. Moo Moo Farm was the original, and my only complaint about this track is the cows only being in the background. They don't walk in front of you or act as an obstacle on this course, which is kind of sad. However, this course is still pretty good as it implements a very interesting gimmick. On this track's turns, there are Monty Moles on the side that takes less time to drive over. They randomly pop out of the ground so you can take a risk. If you drive through them, you could get hit by one, which will slow down your time significantly. The other option is avoiding them by driving on the other side, but it isn't as fast as driving over the holes and not getting hit. This is a very interesting technique that adds strategy to this course, and overall, it makes it really fun, and I really like the farming theme here. In 8th place, we got Banshee Boardwalk, and I feel like this course is hated by a lot of people. However, I really like this one. I feel like a lot of people hate this one because it's dark and colorless, and most of the time you just drive on some docks. So I feel like a lot of people think this one is just boring. The reason I like this one is because of how strange it is. This is obviously Mario Kart 64 scary themed level, even though it's not that scary. You start the course by driving over a boardwalk with many turns until you go into this unfinished house with graffiti arrows. Here you have to dodge some bats. Then you leave the house and it's time for more driving on boardwalks. I honestly like this course and I feel like that's an unpopular opinion. My favorite part of this has to be the mystery behind it. Why is there an unfinished house in the middle of the ocean? And why is there a boardwalk surrounding it, especially when it isn't connected to land? This course is just a bit strange, but really fun to race on, and that's why I like it. In 7th place we have Calamari Desert, and this was the first desert themed course in Mario Kart history. It looks like it takes place in Sedona, and visually speaking, it is very well designed. There are cacti all around this track, and the race seems to take place close to sunset. The main gimmick of this track is having a train go in front of the track, so you have to slow down and wait until time passes. The train does this two times per lap, and it can lead to large gaps between racers that went over the train tracks before the train came, and racers who had to wait for the train to pass. Overall, this track is pretty good, and it is well designed with an interesting mechanic. In sixth place, we got Yoshi Valley, and this is one of the most unique courses in the entire Mario Kart series. In this course, you can't see the rankings until somebody crosses the finish line. This is because the track splits off into many routes you can take. Some of the routes are faster to take than others, so it adds an element of randomness, because you have to blindly guess which route is the best. Once you know which route is quicker, you can just always choose that one. Close to the end, there's a giant Yoshi egg that spins around a platform, and you must dodge it. The egg is very annoying, but not as annoying as the narrow path I always fall off. I definitely like this course, but it can be annoying at times, but overall, it's pretty solid. In 5th place is Toad's Turnpike, and I never thought I would rank a course with an 8-figure circuit so highly, but here we are. This course takes place on a highway, and there are many cars and trucks that you have to drive around while racing. This makes racing here fun, even though it is a literal 8-figure circuit. Toad's Turnpike was basically the course that started the trend of racing alongside cars that you would have to dodge. It is the ancestor of Mushroom City, Mushroom Bridge, Shroom Ridge, and Moonview Highway. One thing interesting about this track is the fact that all the item boxes are off to the side so cars don't go through them. It's a smart way of implementing them onto the track without having to figure out how to work them into the traffic. This course is fun, but there are questions that I don't have answers for. Why is it called Toad's Turnpike? It has nothing to do with Toad. Also, where are all the cars driving? They're just going through the same areas over and over again. Also, the street lights look weird. They're just like glued to the wall or something and it looks strange. Anyway, this course is amazing. In 4th place we have DK's Jungle Parkway, which is a course based on Donkey Kong 64, which is a game that I've never played. However, I still like this course a lot. At the start, you drive past a body of water, and then onto a ramp that shoots you into the air. At one point in this track, there is even a bridge you can drive over, and it leads to a cave full of item boxes. This entire course takes place in the jungle, and is surrounded by palm trees. Fun fact, if you go out of bounds in this course, a bunch of coconuts will start hitting you back in. Unfortunately, this feature was removed in the Mario Kart Wii remake of this course, but it's still a full feature in this one. This track is definitely dope, and I really like the jungle theme of it. In third place is Choco Mountain because it's just great. You start by driving under a tunnel, making a few turns. You then proceed to go over a bump, and then you must drive around a lake with falling boulders. You then have three bumps to drive over in the end. The reason I like this track so much is due to two things. The first is the atmosphere. There's a bunch of fog surrounding the chocolate mountain you're racing on, and it makes for a really strange and unique atmosphere. The second thing I like about this course is how 3D it is. Mario Kart 64 was the first Mario Kart game that really feels like 3D, 
and Choco Mountain is full of inclines, declines, bumps, twists, and, and turns that use the 3D environment to the fullest extent. This in addition to the falling boulders makes this course feel really full and well put together. Overall, this is one of my favorite Mario Kart courses of all time. In second place is Royal Raceway because this one is just amazing. In this course, you drive around Peach's Castle from Super Mario 64. You can even leave the track and drive up to the castle, and the layout is very similar to Super Mario 64. Unfortunately, you can't go into castle, but it is still a really awesome feature to have. This course is surrounded by river piranha plants that you don't want to hit. There are also some areas in this course where it is easy to fall into water just by going out of bounds a little bit. This adds a little bit of a challenge. The most memorable part of this course is when you go over the launch ramp and you make a huge jump over a giant body of water and back to land where you can see and drive past Peach's Castle. This is a really awesome course and one of the best of all time. Before we get to number one, if you're enjoying this video, please subscribe to this channel. It helps out a lot anyway. Number one is Bowser's Castle, and this is a course that is just amazing. You start off by driving past a stone Bowser that breathes fire at you that you must avoid. You proceed to go inside the actual castle where there are many swamps that move around in strange ways and it makes it hard to dodge them. You drive through some castle gardens and then you drive over a spiral up a tower. You then drive over the castle walls, which is kind of cool. This course is well designed and it always throws something new at you, keeping everything interesting. Because of this, I've decided to put Bowser's Castle at number one. Anyway, that's the end of this video. Peace out. I know I have a lot of unpopular opinions on this game, but this video is just my opinion, so yeah.